A woman has been sentenced to 30 years in jail without the option of a fine for being found in possession of bang worth, get this, 2,800 Kenya shillings. I'm sure you're wondering, is the punishment commensurate with the offense or was the trial magistrate too harsh? Let's now bring in our reporter, Martin Munene, who spoke to a lawyer to understand the reasoning behind the sentence. Here's that interview. All right, uh, very good morning from Nyeri County. We are outside uh, the Nyeri Law Courts where yesterday there was a ruling uh, about a case involving a uh, single mother who was uh, sentenced to 30 years in prison uh, for trafficking a uh, bang. Uh, now, uh, a lot of people have been feeling that it's an unfair ruling. It's a ruling that is not, uh, you know, right. And, uh, you know, I want to speak to the LSK chair uh, from this side. Uh, and I just want to hear what his thoughts are, especially regarding this matter. What does the law say? and is this sentence right uh, a very good morning to you uh, you know just yes. kindly help us understand of course you're you, you know you're aware of this particular case a lot of interest yes. from people the public feeling that uh, it's not a fair judgment yes. so what is your take on that and maybe what does the law say concerning uh, such a case uh, the lady was uh, charged with uh, trafficking narcotic drugs under section 4a of the Psychotropic uh, and uh, Narcotic Drugs Act 1984. The section provides that if you are found guilty of the, of the offense, you are supposed to be sentenced to a fine of one million or uh, three times the value of the, the value of the drugs or whichever is greater. So the greater here was one million and in addition, you are supposed to be sentenced to life imprisonment. So, that a year is a fair sentence because he was supposed to be sentenced to life imprisonment. All right. uh, there's the issue of uh, she Two. was not given the option of a fine. Two, mm -hmm. the, there's no issue of a fine. The fine and in addition, life imprisonment. So she is here. Actually, the, the magistrate was in it in the sense that he did not find her. She just went to the life imprisonment and not life imprisonment that years. Secondly, I understand from the file that this lady is not a first offender. She is a serial offender. She had be, been charged with a similar offense previously. All right. Uh, maybe one of the things that, that a lot of people are raising yes. is the value of this particular drugs that yes. she was found in possession of, 2,820. Now, uh, a lot of people questioning, we've seen cases that involve a lot of money and sentences are, you know, more lenient. So uh, what, is, what is your opinion on that and what does the law say the concerning that? The public should understand there's a difference between trafficking and being in possession. This lady is not, was not charged with being in possession of drugs. She was charged with the offense of trafficking. Mm -hmm. That makes all the difference. When you are found in possession, the sentence is lesser. But when you are trafficking, meaning you are taking drugs to the people to take, to ruin the lives of our citizens, to ruin the lives of our children, the trafficking is a more serious offense than being in possession or even taking the drug itself. Right. under the law right. because you you want to ruin the lives of many people that is the difference and that's why the law provides for life imprisonment in addition to a, a, cent, a, a fine of one million all right Thank yes you very much. Yes. all right a uh, very precise and very uh, elaborate he says that the law is clear uh, you're supposed to get a fine of about a million and life imprisonment so he's of the opinion that the judge was actually very fair and so uh, he says that the public must understand that uh, it's not about possession uh, when it comes to trafficking it's a greater offense and therefore it has or it carries a greater sentence uh, from your county take it back to your studio i'm martin Monene.